Hello, you are looking at a typical double slit interference pattern. Let's do a quick recap yeah, before we move on to new things. So the double slit experiment is an example of two waves interfering with each other. In the ripper tank experiment, we had two water waves interfering with each other, resulting in a formation of antinodal and nodal lines. In the double slit experiment, we have two light waves, one from each slit. And the two light waves interfere with each other. If we put a screen here, then at positions where we used to have the anti-nodal lines, the red lines here, we are going to see bright fringes. And at the positions where we used to have the nodal lines, the blue lines here, yeah, we are going to see dark fringes. But there's something special about the geometry of the double slit. The slit separation small d is very small compared to the screen distance L. And because of that, we can do the parallel ray approximation. You should watch my previous video for the details. But the conclusion is, for the double slit, the path difference is given by this simple expression here, d sine theta, where theta is the diffraction angle. So for the double slit, to calculate the diffraction angle at which we, the zero order bright fringe is formed, you just solve the equation d sine theta is equal to zero lambda. To calculate the diffraction angles at which the first order bright fringes are formed, you just solve the equation d sine theta is equal to 1 lambda. To solve for the diffraction angles at which the second order bright fringes are formed, you just solve the equation d sine theta is equal to 2 lambda. Okay, now we can move on to the new thing. We are going to talk about the fringe separation. So I'm talking about the distance between two uh, adjacent bright fringes. I'm going to call it delta y. Do you notice that the bright fringes are equally spaced out? Yeah? The free separation is constant. That looks interesting, isn't it? So why not we try to uh, derive the formula for delta y? Okay, so let's do the math now. So firstly, where are the bright fringes formed? Well, they are formed at positions where d sine theta is equal to n lambda. Now, I don't really like the sine function here because it's non-linear and it's troublesome. How can I get rid of it? Now, it would be nice, you know, if theta is very small, because if theta is very small, we can do some approximations. So, is theta really small? Well, that depends on whether n lambda over d is small. We're talking about light waves here. So, for visible lights, the wavelength is between 400 and 700 nanometers, so less than 1 micrometer. The slit separation is also quite small, uh, about 1 mm, as small as 0.1 mm, but in comparison to the wavelength, the slit separation is actually very large, yeah? I think at least 100 times larger than the wavelength. So you can put n equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I think even all the way until 10, n lambda over d is still going to be a very small number, probably less than 0.1 radian. So hooray! Theta is really small, yeah? So if theta is small, I can write sine theta as y divided by l. So what is y? y is the position along the screen where the bright fringes are formed. So sine theta, look at sine theta, yeah? sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, right? So it should be y divided by the hypotenuse. But if theta is very, very small, then the hypotenuse and the screen distance are the same length, practically the same length. So instead of y divided by hypotenuse, I'll just write y divided by l. Get it? That's how I replace sine theta with y over l. Let me rearrange the equation. So now we have a very simple expression. So where is the zeroth order bright fringe formed? It's formed at y not equals to zero, right? Just substitute n to be zero. So where is the first order bright fringe formed? It's formed at y1 equals to l lambda over 2. The second order bright fringe is formed at y2 is equals to 2l lambda over d, and so on. So if I want to find the fringe separation, I just need to take the y position of two consecutive bright fringes and do the subtraction. And the answer is, of course, L lambda over D. So because for the double slit, the bright fringes are usually formed at very small diffraction angles. And because of that, the bright fringes are equally spaced out. And because of that, there's such a simple formula for us to calculate the fringe separation. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!